participants uh, welcome you all for this uh, fourth day of this program uh, today's morning session we have with us dr kuldeep bansod uh, department of pharmacy government college of pharmacy karad so on behalf of uh, the administration of our college the uh, principal murugappa palini department of mechanical engineering and all the participants i have great pleasure in welcoming dr kuldeep bansod for this session welcome you sir so let me introduce uh, dr kuldeep bansod sir for you briefly so dr kuldeep bansod sir <coughs> completed its uh, b pharmacy from university department of pharmaceutical sciences rtm in nagpur and he also completed his m pharm from the same university and uh, sorry uh, M Tech from RTM Menu and B Tech from uh, Sudagar Rao Mike Institute of Pharmacy. Sir completed his doctoral program in University Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences in Nagpur, and Sir uh, worked around uh, uh, 20 years in various colleges. He worked in Agni Potri College of Pharmacy, Department of Pharmacy, Jalgaon, and now he is working in uh, Government College of Pharmacy, Karad in Maharashtra District. Sir has several distinction to his credit. He is gate qualified and CSIR fellow, and he has secured Surya Kumari Best Paper Award during IPS 2010, and he is as mentor for CSIR NEAST STRP project, and he mentored eight students in the year uh, current year, and uh, he got. Uh, published around uh, 12 international journal papers and three national level journal papers and he presented uh, six papers in this discipline sir authored two books and he is a reviewer of various uh, journals like uh, phytotherapy research willey and francis indian journal of pharmacology and sir's skill areas are uh, as i told you already in the previous section uh, where uh, prashant argade sir Uh, presented a topic. Kuldeep sir, Prashant sir, all together they served as resource person in various uh, colleges and various topics of ICT tools. Sir uh, is an expert in Moodle, video creation, student assessment, MS Office, and uh, teaching learning programs and other tools. Uh, sir delivered around 26 uh, lectures in various uh, FTPs and conferences, and guest speaker in 35. Uh, conferences he also coordinated eight webinars and sir is a life member of indian pharmacological association and sir received various grants uh, from maharashtra state board of technical education ftp grant around 75000 and he has received a 12 lakhs grant from aict and moreover uh, he is uh, a very good resource person in the areas of ict tools during the lockdown period Uh, sir uh, delivered various uh, sessions to various colleges uh, i am happy to invite dr kulsip guldeep pansod sir for this session his uh, session will be more interesting and more practical oriented and also it is very useful for all the participants video creation tools uh, welcome you sir so now you can proceed with your presentation thank you sir thank you thank you very much dr sekar sir thank you thank you sir. a uh, very good morning to all my dear participants i am let me thank first to the dr sekar sir and dr k sudagar principal of murugappa polytechnic college chennai for arranging and sanctioning such a nice fdp on teaching to online teaching tools from aict and ist i am also thankful for inviting me and get interacted with the uh, newer participants from the different area of the india my dear participants today we are going to discuss about the introduction to online tools and the creation of online learning resources the session is divided i have divided the session in a three different parts the first part will talk about the theoretical aspects of online teaching then what are the learning resources that are available what you are going to create on your own the learning resources as per your need of the students and at last we will have the demo of 
various tricks and the tips inside the PowerPoint presentation and how to create a learning videos or the learning dialogues for the students to go online for the classes as well as if a time permits I will show you how the readily available YouTube videos or the another videos how you can make them more and more interactive for your students by embedding different activities in that video only so you don't uh, need to create the videos you can use the various videos which are already created by others if you found them very good then you can directly use put your own views your activities inside them and use it for your students so the today's session is all about the online teaching learning tools very first first go with the online teaching my dear colleagues during the session i require the various inputs from you your inputs will give me the direction where to go inside the session and what to deliver to you so be with me i am always looking at the chat box from the different device so that I can able to interact with you very friendly and so that the communication will be takes place at utmost level in this session you will be able to identify the various benefits of the online teaching you can differentiate the traditional and the online teaching and get familiarized with the online teaching tools or the methods that are readily available at a free of cost to all of us here I have a pictureized a traditional classroom where a teacher is delivering a various content or instructional objectives are delivered toward a students who are gathered inside the classroom. My dear colleagues, you are in line with my statement that the students which are sitting inside the class, very few of them are self-motivated they are listening to you very eagerly some of the students they are slow learners and hence they are taking notes out of your delivery some of the students they are question because they have a less basic knowledge and hence they cannot cope with your delivery moreover some of the students inside the class they are engaged in different activities so the class is a mix of the different students which have the different styles of the learning as well as it is the mix of fast learners as well as the slow learners sometimes it is also possible the delivery or the teaching methodology that you are using which is not suitable for the some of the students inside the class and hence they are not having the interest so this is a traditional classroom having its own benefit I am not saying that the traditional classroom is not good. Traditional classroom have the different advantages. The teacher can able to motivate the students in the real time. If you find somebody who is disinterested inside your class, you can create the activities for them or you can point out such students and motivate them with the different types of the means. It can get you can get a immediate feedback after your session so that you can plan for your next session or you can have the feedback from the students which type of the delivery you want the traditional classroom it is very much familiar with the both students as well as the teacher and both students and teacher also feels very comfortable in the traditional classroom and the traditional classroom is very much easy for the instructor no doubt some of the teachers are very best inside the traditional classroom that their students are performing fantastic no doubt at all but this traditional classroom also have the certain disadvantages very first and foremost is it is uh, instructor centered that the classroom is always goes in line with how instructor will take it Another is the time and the location constraint. Student as well as the teacher has to move far away from their home toward the institute or toward the classes where they have to sit and listen toward the lectures. 
and because of this this is a more expensive method of the delivery for the program as well as in a traditional classroom teaching the concept is delivered by the teacher these concepts are understood by the students another concept delivered by the student teacher and again it is understood by the student but some of the students can't get the concept at some of the point and he carries such a misunderstood concept over and over over and over once he got toward the objectives and he realized that oh i have made a mistake in a first concept then he has to come back and clear this concept first and then carry on his learning so this happens in the traditional classroom teaching moreover teacher is a it is a very difficult for the teacher to identify such students who has mistaken the concept i am not saying that the teacher has delivered the wrong content teacher delivered the content but students pursue it in a different way that puts the students in the fault my dear colleagues so this will happens in the traditional classroom teaching but as we are living in the 2021 we have uh, advanced technologies with us we have the different softwares and also there is increase in the speed of the internet as well as decrease in the cost of the using of the internet why not we use the technology to deliver the content my dear colleagues i have a question for you can you please tell me what are the advantages of the teaching to the teacher and the student if the traditional classroom is like this what are the different advantages please write in a chat box i am looking for that please write in a chat box what are the different advantages inside the online teaching to the both teacher as well as to the students Yes, I am looking in the chat box. Please do it fast. Yes, you can go for the time management, rightly identified by ma'am. Some more, some more, some more responses in the chat box. Okay, okay, no issue. Some of the colleagues are engaged in the different activities maybe but the time management is a very much easier inside the online teaching it is easy to understand yes let's see what are the different advantages of online teaching for the student as well as for the teacher the online teaching is of two different types the first method is a synchronous synchronous what we are doing right now it is the synchronous type of the online teaching where a real time online teaching experiences is possible for the teacher as well as for the students today teacher is going online in a specific scheduled time at the same time student has to come online so that they will have a interaction at the real time at the same time when the teacher and student both are present in the online classes or online net another is a asynchronous method of the online delivery that is not in a real time where the teacher has to create a various types of the videos various types of the learning activities and that present toward the student and student solve these activities or uh, go through these activities when they have time or at their own space so one of the example for this asynchronous type of the teaching is the recorded training sessions so with these two different methods synchronous and the asynchronous the online teaching is possible there are n number of the benefits because of the online teaching like it increases the students learning because students are working on their pace so they naturally created the interest inside them moreover the engagement of the students toward the classes is get increased the research says that the time and the location flexibility which is available inside the online teaching that increases the student engagement inside the classes and it is convenience for both 
it is convenient for the teacher as well as toward the student it creates the more opportunities for the teacher teacher can able to interact with the different levels of the students from the different background from the different areas teacher can better organize his classes how the classes looks like where the classes should go in which direction their classes should go so it is betterly organized by the teacher you can have the diverse teaching experiences and easier access for sharing of the information you can share the information which is available online with your students moreover some documentary evidences tells that online teaching will create the self discipline and the responsibility not only inside the teacher but also inside the students so that students can be self motivated that i have to go online for these classes whether it is synchronous or the asynchronous and complete the task which are scheduled by the teacher for me or for the different groups or for the whole classes by the teacher so it will create the discipline and the responsibility more responsible or the students my dear colleagues it is also research that when you put the responsibility or when everything is on the shoulder of the students students work more responsible in addition to this as what happens in the traditional classroom teaching the concept which is delivered by the teacher inside the classes which is understood by the teacher student another concept again understood by the student when a one concept is not understood by any single student from the class teacher can able to identify such students inside the online mode he can take the such students deliver the another content which is similar to that the previous content but which is a specially designed for such students who are taking the concept in a wrong way or in a different way so such a newer thing or such a newer idea or such a newer learning resource is understood by the student again the different learning resources will make increase in the knowledge of the student and the which concept which is ill understood by the student is get clarified at this point only and then these students is again put back into the path of the another student so that he cannot carry forward the misunderstood concept and in this way the online teaching is a very much important where you can have the very quickly identification of the students who are slow learners or who are taking the concepts or taking the ideas in a different way rather where it has to be taken so in this way you can go for the online teaching there are n number of the softwares are available for going online like a black Board learn Sakai, T2L, Moodle, Canvas, also Edpuzzle, Edmodo, Google Classroom. A number of the things are available nowadays. Maybe there are some addition in some coming months or the two months. Indian government has also developed some of the online teaching learning resources that we will see in a subsequent slides. So in this way. you can able to go or you can have the different benefits of the online teaching and let's use this online teaching methods by creating a various online learning resources my dear colleagues can you with me whether these are the advantages of online teaching if yes please write in a chat box as why if any doubt is there please put in a chat box if you are with me then write in a chat box as a why whether you found these advantages with the online teaching learning thank you ma'am thank you anita ma'am soumya ma'am yes some more participants <clears throat> can you please elaborate vaishali ma'am vaishali ma'am is uh, and uh, good morning sir yes ma'am can you can you hear me yes ma'am yes please 
see uh, sir biggest disadvantage what i found in the online teaching is regarding practicals you know so basically as i am in polytechnic teaching in polytechnic so we are more in skill development yes. and that's a real this a biggest drawback of uh, this online teaching another okay. thing i feel like you know ki self motivated i don't think it is achieved into online teaching okay ma'am uh, you are question and the your drawback i have understood i will give you the suggestions and the tools which will decrease this type of the drawbacks of the online teaching no doubt because of the pandemic we are not having the physical presence of the students but you can go with the simulation n number of the simulations of the practicals are available in the internet for the all in for the engineering there are n number of the simulations are available you can go with that i will have the some sites that will uh, tells about the various online simulations apart from that you talk about the motivation there is a one online tool which is available that makes the student to be bide with the time frames that are created by the teacher for their students that we will see in the coming slides okay ma'am I am saying that learning would have stopped totally to children if they are, if they wouldn't have been online learning during the pandemic. Yes, because of the online uh, teaching learning tools, we are till delivering the content toward the students, and no doubt there are some students who are facing problems because of their different learning styles it is totally depend on the learning styles of the students but moodle is one of the learning management system that nullifies all these drawbacks so ma'am i will tell you in the subsequent slides so let's see okay ma'am have i cleared your doubt okay sir thank you let's see about the creation of learning resources in this session you will explain the importance of teaching learning resources use of technology in a development of teaching learning resources explain the uses of learning resources mention the types of learning resources create effective powerpoint presentation and lastly create a video using various tools let's uh, see one by one any students when he or she joins i think some of the mic is on hasan sir if somebody wants to talk no? Yes, somebody wants to talk. Okay, okay, no issues. So, any student when he entered into the different programs, he has to present with the curriculum. When he goes through that curriculum, he is become a professional in that and get the degrees. The path or the progress or the journey. from presenting the curriculum up to the become professional the various teaching learning resources works as a catalyst here without teaching learning resources it is not possible for any students to get a professional in that particular program or to get the degree from that curriculum the learning resources are nothing but any person or any material whether it is prepared by him or whether it is gathered from the outer sources with the instructional content or a function that is used for formal as well as for the informal teaching learning purposes that all is called as the learning teaching learning resources so any person or the any material which is acquired which is prepared or the locally produced that is called as the teaching learning resources 
Here I am presenting with you one of the example. The teacher is asking the students to draw a picture of the rabbit. So student can able to draw the picture of the rabbit, but the picture of the rabbit which is drawn by the students are the different different because the teacher student can have the different their imagination if it is the class of the children then children don't know about the rabbit how can they draw the picture of the rabbit this is just for an example in the another scenario can you imagine that now a teacher is asking to the students to draw a picture of the rabbit by presenting the rabbit's picture now here student can able to know what is the rabbit? Who is the rabbit? How to draw? How look the rabbit is? Now here the rabbit is working as a learning resources. So from the definition, this is the question for you, my dear colleagues, which is not a learning resource. You have to pick it from the list. There is a list of the various uh, materials and the humans. Some are the animate, some are the inanimate, which are presented on the screen. You have to pick one out, which is not a learning resource and write it in a chat box. Yes, please. Which is not working as a learning resource. Building. So my ma'am says it as a building. Vaishali ma'am says that building again. Yes, 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 any anyone else? Jay Prakash says building. Sungati ma'am says building. Selvi ma'am says building. Okay. Again, the same answer is coming from the different garden. The first another answer came as garden. The more participants are in line with the building. My dear colleagues, let's see how the learning resources works and whom they are called as the learning resources. You can rethink about the definition. Any human, any person or any matter or anything which is used for delivery of the instruction in the formal or the informal ways for the and use for the teaching learning processes that is known as a learning resources the objectives of the learning resources is to support to enrich and to enhance the implementation of the educational program so without building it is not possible to deliver the educational program we require the various areas to deliver the different types of the instructions towards the students. As well as teacher has to provide towards the students various learning resources which are appropriate towards the needs of the students that create the interest as well as which are in line with the abilities of the learners. So this is the responsibility of the professional staff as well as the teacher so that the learning resources can be goes beneficial toward the students. Learning resources can create the interest in the teaching learning processes. So this is totally depend on the learning resources which is used by the teacher for the students, how it works. Some of the learning resources might create disinterest inside the students. So, it is our duty to select the best learning resources for our students so that the teaching learning practices will go in an interesting way. It will also stimulate the students for more and more learning. It will inculcate the craving for the newer and newer education inside the students. Moreover, the students are get reinforced because of the other's performance. And it is very much effective when you use a particular learning resources as per the need of the students. Apart from this, the learning resources also create the various opportunities for the teacher as well as the students. Like it can 
create the space for the discussion among the students if you are use a learning resources in a proper way so the group students are the students who are working inside the groups you can stimulate the discussion in them student can have the develop the ability of the questioning and another students can give a perfect answer or judgmental answer toward that questions moreover the positive interaction is the takes place between the students peer and peer learning can be happens and this will achieve um desired outcomes if you use a learning resources in a proper way so in this way the teaching learning processes will goes in a positive direction if you have the learning resources as well as learning resources create the various opportunities inside the students the functional role or the objectives of the teaching learning resources is encouraging active learning inside the students as well as develop the different skills and abilities inside the students and adopt the desirable values and attitudes inside the students the 21st century life skills like a communication collaboration creative thinking it is possible if you use uh, learning resources which are perfect and which are needed by your students let ask this question to self what is the role of technology in a teaching learning resources development or the teaching learning processes as we are advancing inside the technology now 1g is coming to convert toward the 5g we have the bigger speed and now the mobile phone is working as the boss of all the gadgets so why should not we use the technology enabled tools for our teaching learning processes or for the creation of the learning resources for our students so with the help of technology what we can have achieve the new technology can able to provide access to a wider range of freely available sources and the resources definitely you are with me the open educational resources that are oer prepared by the different universities prepared by the different institutes that are freely available you can directly use it download it change it as per your thinking as per your needs inside your class inside your institute and implement it am i audible yes sir okay sorry sorry for the interruption so the new technology will provide the learning tools for both staff and the students it enables new models of the curriculum design and the delivery it will also improve the assessment and get the feedback at a different levels in the traditional classroom we can have the feedback at the mid term or after the sessional examination or after the end of the term but inside the online teaching tools or the inside online teaching softwares you can take the feedback from the students at the any time point and which is a very much easier student can also give a correct and perfect feedback about the learning resources and about the activities which are developed by the teacher another it will support the new flexible learning spaces different some of the students has the learning spaces which are different than the others you can able to 
accept that and you can deliver the content in their learning stresses so that they can be learn faster and faster as that of the fast learner moreover it will improve the capacity and the capability in the student support so newer technology will completely transform the student learning the new technology is only able to transform the student learning but only if institutional system and the technology are flexible and appropriate students are engaged in the subject matter and the delivery if students are not engaged then how can the transformation of the student learning is take place students are supported to become a digitally literate if you cannot educate them how to handle the software and directly present them with the different tools they will be get distracted because of that so you have to literate the student first for the digital presence learning technologies develop students for their professional careers and the staff development is appropriate and sufficiently supported by the institution only then the transformation is possible there are the different opportunities in this like the availability of the stuff and material n number of the stuffs are available in on the internet to go online the readily available material is there that you can use the new tools for the staff and student learning various learning management systems are available like edmodo edpuzzle google classroom moodle junomio moodle is there n number of the things are there new models and the modes of curriculum design n number of the simulations virtual labs are there some of the virtual experiments are there that can be used new methods for the assessment and the feedback nowadays the rubrics is very much used for the assessment of the student so that student will know on which parameters and particular parameter is assigned for which scale it should be known towards the student so student can understand this is the objective of this particular delivery or this particular assignment new capabilities in a student support and new learning spaces so these are the different opportunities for the new technology to transform the students learning my dear colleagues this is the another question for you and you have to interact on this question how far we have traveled towards the transformation of the learning with these newer technologies please write in a chat box how far we have traveled yes please do it first how far we have traveled whether it is easy for us or whether still it is difficult for us whether our students are very much familiar with this newer transformation or whether they are having a difficulties and then and they are not interested to come to the Yes. Guru Prasad said, "We feel we are at apex. Okay, many avenues of the learning." So that answer says that easy, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you for your answers. Manage to cope with. Okay, okay. Still, still there is a number of the things to learn inside the online teaching. it is a time saving right starting to transforming sir okay okay so what the effective learning resources can allow students to work at their own space so this is now uh, readily known to uh, all of us that effective learning resources can allow students to work at their own spaces at their own time it gives the student different alternative and the explanations so that st students can go for the different different views from the different different uh, teachers it provide the richer learning experience by expanding the range of expertise which students will confront staff 
time is get saved by resolving the student question and the queries which is online staff can go at their own space also and avoid reinventing the field so staff is if there is already some better and better presentation excellent presentation if it is available on a youtube why not to use it why we have to again go for preparing the presentation take such a videos add your interactive activities in that videos and use it that's it why we have to reinvent the wheel so you can use such a type of the presentation or the videos and we can use resources to change and improve our teaching the effective learning resources which can be accessed by all the students give us the opportunity to innovate in our approaches to teaching and the student learning so if you search for the best of the best learning resource on the internet or create your own then definitely we can transform the students learning there are n number of the arguments from the teachers from the staff that the stuff which is available or the stuff or the material which is provided by the institution they are limited it is maybe because the resource is limited by the library budget or the limited range of the resources available to them another they can focus on the print and the text material it is always says that reading on the computers it is very much difficult but you can put the blue screen on them or you can decrease the brightness of the screen and you can go for the reading but it is always argued that the prints or the text material they are easier to understand they are easier to learn they are easier to read also and from the ancient time the lecturer is seen as the guru or the expert in that particular field or in that particular type topic so lecture is seen as the main vehicle for introducing and overviewing each topic or the section of the module as well as workshop lab seminars that follow the lecture and the lectures are personally crafted and own and may take lot of time it is thought by some of the teachers and they argue on this moreover students depend on the lecture output they can have the notes that are used by the teacher inside the classroom so this type of the arguments are always came maybe another arguments are there if you are with me whether these arguments are the true or not it is it is i am talking about some of the arguments i am not saying that my dear colleagues you are preparing or giving this type of the arguments but this type of the arguments are always there when we say that come online or how the candy of this like how the mix of the online as well as the traditional classroom only going with one is not the case today we have to put our content some of the content which is easier one that should be online and the content where we found that the learning resources are not suitable and we have to present physically one by one to the students that should be taught in a traditional way so if you are in line with me please write in a chat box as a yes so that we can move up further whether these arguments are true or not yes yes thank you ma'am yes yes keep fast you can write why only inside the chat box or the yen okay moving ahead if you look at the cone of the experience which is researched by eager dell in 1954 which is according to the bloom's taxonomy level bloom's has given the six different taxonomy level out of that the three are the low order thinking levels and the three are the higher order thinking levels where if your learning resource can put the students toward the evaluation and the creation then it is the highest level of the bloom taxonomy which is achieved by your learning resources my dear colleagues this cone of experience tells about the remembering capacity of the student 
स्टूडेंट कैन एबल टू रिमेम्बर आउट ऑफ वट ही हैज रीड इट इज ओनली द टेन परसेंट देन वट ही हैज हियर इट इज द ट्वेंटी परसेंट इफ यू शो द वेरियस इमेजेस और वेरियस वीडियोज टूवर्ड द स्टूडेंट द रिमेम्बरिंग कैपेसिटी इज इंक्रीज अप टू द थर्टी परसेंट मोर ओवर इफ यू शो देम वेरियस डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन और शो देम और कैरी देम टूवर्ड द वेरियस एग्जीबिशन और और शो देम वेरियस सिमुलेशन वेरियस डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट द रिमेम्बरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट वट दे सी एंड वट दे हियर साइमल्टेनियसली विल इंक्रीज अप टू द फिफ्टी परसेंट एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स रीडिंग हियरिंग वॉचिंग all these makes up to only 50% of the remembering capacity and my dear colleagues this is nothing but the passive learning method whether students are only passively taking the instructions by the teacher we have to make the students the active learners and to convert the passive learners into the active learners we have to present them or take them inside the hands on workshop design a collaborative session for them so they can collaborate each other how the collaborative learning strategies which can rememberize up to 70% so what the students say and what students write will increase the remembering capacity of the students at last you can have the simulation a model or the experience of phenomena you can ask them to design perform a presentation or perform the experiment that increases the students remembering capacity up to the 90% when they are performing something so here activity is important student has to perform the activity so that they are become a active learner and with this we can put the students toward the highest grade of the bloom's taxonomy and inculcate the higher order thinking skills inside the student another question for all of you my dear colleagues you can watch you can read out more about the cone of experience by the dell and find out why it is not possible to remember the 100% why this cone is only goes max to max up to the 90% i am not going to give the answer to this question you have to find out the answer to this question on your own by reading the various research papers or goes for the various text or the various videos in a online mode so with this cone of experience we can see that when the students are performing the activity when students are doing something at that time the active learning is possible on the basis of that there are the various e learning resources and that e learning resources are categorized into four different categories first and foremost is a learning dialog the learning dialog is a short type of the video or face to face communication so contents or the ideas or a sub topic or a point you have to only pick up a point or the sub topic and prepare a video or have the communication with your student but that communication only goes up to a 15 minute in between this 15 minute you have to add a reflection spot and this reflection spot will work as a stimulator for upcoming information or the feedback what you have delivered in the previous timing so the reflection spot is very much necessary that will create the interest that will engage the students more and more in your learning dialogue at the same time when the answers came you can give a constructive feedback toward the answer given by a students so this is a learning dialogue another e learning resource is learning by doing a theory of education expounded by american philosopher dewe tells about the experiential learning the hands on approach to learning 
measuring student much interact with their environment in order to adapt and learn so internship projects perform the different types of the activities are and the student teaching means say the student to teach to the another student so this is nothing but the activities that is learning by doing in this way you can make a students active learner another is learning experience interaction in this learner experience interaction where a contains a focus question driving a discussion thread you have to give a focus question toward the group of the students and that creates the discussion among them which is followed by the peer interaction and then reflection quiz on the discussion and the interaction to incentivize the participation so you have give a focus question student will interact some peer learning is at guess going to text place and then you have to provide them a quiz and on the basis of the quiz you can find out who is the learning higher and higher you can get the feedback also whether the learner experience interaction is a text place or not it shows a sustained engagement of a students in the discussion forum even after the class duration so not only inside the class but you can engage the students out of your classes also by giving a various type of the learning resources another is learning extension here you can provide them with various resources which are available online or which are available in the physical form you have to observe investigate the learning resources so that student will check uh, how the various knowledge from that and they have to answer the quiz which is given after the learning of learning extensions so learning extensions are nothing but the extra reading material extra learning material for the student which is which is extra beyond the classes so in this way you can have these four different e learning resources that first one is a learning dialogue learning by doing learner experience interaction and the learning extension these e learning resources are prepared and one of the research paper is published by iit bombay this is taken from them moreover you can use the whatsapp for the learning you can play the various games on the whatsapp i did for this for my biochemistry practicals in that practicals there are the various carbohydrates proteins and the fat samples they has to estimate inside the laboratory but as rightly said by the ma'am the practicals conduction of the practicals are difficult so i took this opportunity and asked the students to bring the product which contain the carbohydrate at your home so i played these games in on the whatsapp and my dear colleagues you are surprised to know i have not taken a classes to memorize my students what are the carbohydrates what are the proteins and what are the fats inside the game only i have delivered the content toward my students so asking them to show have a picture have the selfie with the particular point or particular thing you can do it for your mechanical purposes or the computer science purposes also have the selfie with some machines which have this type of the mechanism you can have such a sources and the best sources of the proteins vitamins and the carbohydrates which i have asked toward the students so you can use the whatsapp for this whatsapp as a learning resource only there are the n limited uh, n number of the unlimited resources are available some are the old teaching some are like library textbook reference book notes and outs but nowadays there are the youtube slide share wikipedia open educational resources guru nptel national digital library of india university websites n number of the things n number of the resources are available but the thing is that teacher has to explore them first and scratch out something something very interested and very needed for our students the lecture leads to the reading which leads into seminar or the large group discussion but 
a key question circulated online with web links points at a resources so you have to give a key point toward the student student will search for the various resources like videos which individually or the collectively take you into a online posting or the discussion which then leads to a classroom session and which generate the next question in students mind if you go with this path then your online teaching will be a very much interesting and interesting there are n number of the issues that we have to discuss in this forum like how do we find and manage the resources uh, ed puzzle is one of them if a time permits us we can definitely go definitely tell you how to use the ed puzzle uh, ed puzzle as i told you earlier if you have the best and best video which is prepared by some of the teacher you can directly use it add your question add your quiz in between the particular point after uh, some time lag say if the video is of the 10 minutes after 2 minutes you can thought that oh one question should be here you can put the question the question should be graded one you can put as many as question in that 10 minute video suppose you have added the five minute five questions five mcq type of the questions at a different time level say 2 minute 4.5 minute 6 minute 8 minute 9 minute and 10 minute then the cumulative progress of the students can able to mark and you can have the data of that particular video of that particular quiz on your site even that is done inside the ed puzzle another uh, extension is there h5up which is available inside the moodle also you can use that for embedding the questions inside the video whether it's created by your own or whether it is uh, created by the others how do we know which one are good what about the copyright and the licensing what about the best ways what is the best way to use the resources uh, prepared by the others and the most effective ways of creating your own resources the final was for the brief lots of the activities and the lots of the initiatives are needed and the lots of activities are available online enormous increase in the range and quality of resources now but does it mean we have transformed the learning and the teaching please answer to this question as there are n number of the things are available does it really mean that we have transform the teaching and learning please answer in the chat box yes thank you ma'am yes some more answers yes 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 Yes, definitely we have transfer, transform the teaching and learning processes. One of the very good and I like very much it is the Moodle. Moodle is the learning management system where you can integrate videos, audios, questions, assignments, and the assessment toward the students. Moreover, you can put the students into the interactive sessions, deliver the content through various educational games. take the feedbacks at the different time levels and you can available 24 by 7 with your students and it is possible you can differentiate the students into the different groups according their to their learning stages or according to their learning styles and give them a different content which is not available for the fast learners so some of the content is available for slow learners some of the content is not available for the fast learners in this way you can integrate various things inside the moodle the genomio moodle is very popular and we are very much uh, interested and we are very much familiar with that we are using the genomio moodle for our students from last 4 to 5 years and we have found the tremendous increase and interest and the increase in engagement of the students by using this moodle you are not the sage on the stage but you are the middle meddler in the middle and you are working as only the guide on the side and your students are get self and self motivated so to have the videos let's create your own or find out best from 
best for your students from the internet this is possible there are the sites like a slide share is there you can find out the best presentation on the slide share and you can use it you can create your own and you can create your own videos if you think that the powerpoint presentation will add the something in your teaching learning processes then this is the question why we have to use the effective powerpoint presentation the answer is that using the different visual aids inside the powerpoint will increases the interest of the students also the visual aids some of the visual aids that are so in line with our content that the content is very much easier to understand the content should be impressive we can have the various styles various diagrams so our content is going to be the impressive one the design attracts the students some of the students who are the slow learners some of the students who are not interested in online classroom but if you create a powerpoint presentation in a various design format then definitely they are get attracted towards this and it is easier to remember because both the thing visualization hearing as well as the performance will increases the learning capacity of the students some of the research papers tells that effective powerpoint presentation will increases the retention time of the student and it is easy to understand the concept do you really think that the powerpoint will add a value in your presentation and the delivery if you are in line with this then please write a y in the chat box or write a n simply say n in the chat box go fast do you think that powerpoint will add a value in your presentation and the delivery yes or no please write in chat box yes thank you thank you thank you thank you for your prompt reply inside the chat box so this will always tells me that uh, we are we are listening and we are interacting with each other thank you thank you sir thank you ma'am let's see what are the do's and don'ts in preparing a powerpoint presentation here are the some do's very first know your audience whether you are teaching or delivering the content toward the first year second year or the third year students whether you are delivering a content toward a teachers or the pg students this is the really necessary that you should know your audience first and according to the nature of the audience according to the type of the audience you have to prepare a powerpoint presentation then keep it simple don't think that i i am able to know this and these tricks that tricks his tricks i know how to create the different uh, pictures at uh, different shapes inside the powerpoint but don't do that keep it a very simple simple miss that are a needed one keep it simple miss don't have the only white background and always put the only sentences into the powerpoint slide that's not meaning as a simple keep it simple miss keep it up to the date keep it up to the mark which is needed toward the content which is needed for the delivery which is needed for the engagement of the student another use a minimal content 6 by 6 rule the 6 by 6 rule tells that the content of the slide should have maximum to maximum 6 sentences and these sentences should contains at least 4 at sir max to max 4 to 6 words so such a type of the content should be present on a single slide you don't increase the content beyond the six sub topics or the six points on a single slide if you put this is the maximum if you put only the 3 to 4 then it is a very good one so always put the less content or the less point on each slide use legible fonts only 2 to 3 fonts should be used at a particular presentation and same time use only 2 to 3 color scheme my dear colleagues definitely i know this 
we are having the problem in choosing the color schemes so for that you can go for coloradobe.com where you can have the different color scheme which is readily available i will show you how to use that color scheme inside the powerpoint and how to use that color embed that color inside our color scheme of the powerpoint so for that you can use coloradobe.com break up the content into a memorable chunks suppose that this is one of the content and if you present like this the students are get bored down so you have to convert your content into a memorable chunks so that the students are get interested inside your content use the design templates there are n number of the ready made available templates are available online you can go on these slides like a slidescarnival.com i will also put this inside the chat box another is a free powerpoint templates.com another is uh, today's powerpoint another is powerpoint tools so photon is there slide share is there you can go and download they are free so many are available at free of cost only the thing is that you have to replace the content and add your content that's it the ready made available icons are available on these powerpoints also so you can find out the various design templates on slides carnival or the slide share or the free powerpoint templates or the powerpoint tools at the reflection spot after the particular completion of the sub topic this will increase the retention time as well as engagement of the students is get goes on increasing by adding the reflection spot at the same time you should not goes with this don'ts random for any type of transition there is a transition tool is available inside the powerpoint never use that the random transition is so boring and that produces the distraction inside the student slide transition between the two slides should be accepted or should be implemented when it is needed if it is not needed never use that unnecessary text animation or the sound effects some of the teachers uh, uh, use that animation or the sound effect of pro which are inbuilt inside the powerpoint so letter by letter are flying from some corner of the powerpoint and they are visualized that will uh, create the another impression for the content don't read off a slide you have to uh, write down the points onto the slide and discuss the things according to that point and have the only single color scheme throughout your powerpoint presentation you can change the color theme by having a different sections in the powerpoint even you can add as we have done it for the word format that portrait format is converted into landscape by giving the page break same is uh, possible inside the powerpoint also if you want to change the color scheme you can give a, a section toward the powerpoint slides so we don't forget these don'ts you have to not go with these don'ts so let's have the quick tips always starts the guides and the grid lines inside the powerpoint let me show you the demonstration of this so here uh, there is no any are you are you able to see this i am now inside the powerpoint there is no any lines or the grid lines are available for that you have to go into the view and here you find out there is a grid lines you can start the grid lines by having the shift plus function key 9 so the various grid lines are get appeared are you able to see various guides are get appeared the guides for zero horizontal zero as well as the vertical zero with the help of this guide what is possible you can have the object at the equidistance suppose i place this object at these 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 and these so every object is at the equidistance with the help of this guide this guide will make you to arrange the content at the particular point equidistance from each other so in this way you can always start these grid lines and the guides so that the content of your slides will be in line with that grid lines 
so it is it is good one another is drawing with a shift and a control so normally what we have to do when we want to draw a circle we will select the circle and draw it while drawing the circle it will not come as a perfect circle or the perfect square to draw a perfect circle or the perfect square you have to press a shift button on the keyboard and then hold the mouse to draw the circle let's see again the circle is started to draw from the mouse point and it goes toward the direction of moving of the mouse and the circle is exactly as a circle let's see what's happen when i press the control key on to the keyboard and try to draw a circle now when i press the control key the cursor is become the center of the circle and the circle is drawn remember that the circle is not drawn as the same circle but when you press both keys now i am pressing the shift key the circle is becomes the circle but when i started the moving the mouse it is started from its point means the center of the circle is get started and in this way you can draw a perfect circle the same thing is happens to draw the square also if you press both control and shift key you can have the square which is starting the midpoint is the cursor right are you are you getting this in this way you can take the help of shift and control key from the keyboard to draw the various various all the uh, shapes which are available on the powerpoint they can be drawn with the help of shift and control key so you can use that so that your time is get saved another trick is a control t so to prepare this you require very much time don't you think that to prepare the slide like this you required n number of the times but the, with the help of control d this is the matter of just fraction if you have this rectangle or the line just press control d control d is for the duplicate if i press this duplicate line at this equal distance and just i had hit the control d the line is get shifted and place at the equidistance as we have placed the previous one again press control t the all the lines are at the equidistance from each other again i am doing the same for these lines this one control d control d control d control d control d and in this way you can create a duplicates of your <coughs> sorry create the duplicates of your own drawings with the help of control t so control d is for duplicate anything anything is get duplicated so i built these bars i built these square jumbled with the matter of few seconds only then use a convert to smart art tool this is a readily available and freely available tool inside the powerpoint for that now see there are four different topics and four different sub topics are added on the slide is this really good or with the help of smart art tool you can convert these words into a beautiful design which is how to create asha ma'am say how to create vertical horizontal text of different sizes of a text at once in ppt okay ma'am i will i will keep in mind after this i will show that vertical horizontal text okay this there is a point is a directly a command is a available i will show you now see that the text is converted into a beautiful design for that remember that you have to add the text in this format suppose here are the first topic the second topic you have to press the tab so that it will identify by the powerpoint that this is the main head this is the second head this is the first heading this is the second heading you have to select the box go into the home tab find out the convert to smart art tool this is the convert to smart art tool 
select that one find out which smart art tool is a very good for you this one this one this one so i found this one is a good or this one is good so i will take this now see that your text what is the text text is like this but once you go your move your cursor on the horizontal bullet list the list is prepared by powerpoint for you you can change the color of these uh, boxes also go into this color change color scheme and you can see that there are different types of the colors are available hold on why my powerpoint is going slow let me have the water so you can choose the different color scheme like this are you able to see the color of the object is get changing you can have the black you can have the white you can have the different color scheme this color scheme is selected by me for my powerpoint and hence it is coming in this bluish shade once you have selected you can change the style of the smart art you can change it to this you can change it to this but this should be done according to your need so i am putting this or this this one is good then you can convert it to the shapes so here is the option you have to select this one convert you have to go into the smart art design tab then find out here convert convert to text that again is get converted to the text format i am making control z then convert to shapes now the shapes are get converted now here you can ungroup them and then animate it now each is one is a different one now see each box is a different one that is not related with anymore so this box if you change here the space the content is get changed over here in this way you can take the help of smart art tool inside the powerpoint so in this way your word content is get converted into a smart art my dear colleagues let me show you the another also there are n number of the smart arts are available i will show you that so here a list processes cycles hierarchy relationship n number of the things are available you can choose any one so i have also prepared my powerpoint presentation with the help of these smart art tools but i convert them into a shape and then animate them for the different purposes so in this way you can convert it so according to need so this is created for one you can add suppose a single point is there i will show you for that if there is a single point like this and this single point have a four different sub points at this time you can able to convert it into a different hold on see how it looks like so in this way you can able to convert it you can able to convert it like this also you can able to convert it like this also so in the different manner you can change it you can have the this also you can have this also so in this way this is your main topic these are the four different sub topics you can change the color even so isn't it isn't good so you can use a smart art tool inside the powerpoint uh let me show you the ma'am very first what is the question of the ma'am ma'am want to see how to create a vertical text now you have to go here and align the text more option you can align the text vertically horizontally in the text direction you can go and manage your direction of the text here the text direction when you go here you can see here shape format 
option or you can go from here format shape then here you able to see that there is the option size and properties you can go first you have to go into the text option then the a text box then here is written text direction you have to see it and uh, rotate it so in this way your text is get rotated okay ma'am if you want to convert the text into curve format that is also possible you can create a curve of your text also for that you have to build the different shapes and convert that with the help of same margin and shape with the help of this text format you can convert your text into the different uh, sizes you can curve it you can have the text at the circle side also i think i have answered the question to the ma'am another tool is the eye dropper fill tool this is a very interesting tool and i like this tool very much so you can go to the color adobe.com here i am going to the color adobe let me first show you this is the color adobe site from that color adobe site you can pick up the various color schemes also are you able to see this is the color scheme which is available you can move this cursor toward the different time point and you can have the different color schemes suppose i want this color scheme hit the print button on to the slide then go into the powerpoint back i drop a tool then paste this here have the crop image then crop it according to the size of the palette now the palette is ready now suppose i want to draw a different squares now i am hitting control d how the another square control d now i have the five different squares i want five different squares having these colors to select these colors from the color scheme which is available inside the powerpoint it is a div easy it's not easy task and for that you can go into the color adobe and have the different have the different color schemes which is readily available inside the scheme you can go for the monochromatic also as you move the cursor you can have the different scheme you can choose a rectangle which you want to give the color then go into the eye dropper and move your eye dropper on to the each color and in this way you can give a color to your shapes a different color and this color is the same that of the color scheme available right in this way you can give the different colors to your uh, shapes or to your powerpoint tools which are available so this is the very helpful tool that is a eye dropper tool present inside the powerpoint another is for images you can search for the unplash.com where from you get the various types of the images which is freely available you can download it and use it then for videos you can go for the pixels you can have the different videos which are freely available on the pixels.com so here i have showing you how to animate the different objects now here is a example of one of the this is the example from pharmacy background their effect of agonist on inotropic receptor if i told you different different things which are in the text formats you are really get bored down but the same things if i paste you means there are the two different slides for these uh, animations but all things are present on the you have to manage these all things this is uh, prepared with the help of different shapes so this is one shape this is another shape this is another shape so i have group to show them the receptor and then you can manage it so this is the agony this is the drug which can bind here for that you have to go into the animation give the path animation like this lines and move it up to this if you want a small small movement then press the alter on to the 
keyboard and then move the object so that our object will come here i am going to decrease the duration up to 5.50 seconds so first agonist will come what happens after agonist agonist will uh, create the transformation into the receptor and receptor will get open for that i have to open the receptor so this will happen after the previous have the delay of 5.50 second decrease the time to 50 so that this will go smooth then the arrow will get flash for the downward this will also after after previous and then each ion molecule moves inside of the cell for that again the simple path animation i am giving to it so it will show the same animation if i want to give here is the one animation painter that will start after previous i am selecting open the animation plane first i am selecting this decrease the duration to 0.50 again decrease the duration to 0.50 then select this one and give the same animation to the another 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 one so all will come inside of the cell and after that the hyperpolarization will happen for that i will give the zoom animation so after zoom the arrow will get wide toward this so after previous and this will sorry this will pipe after previous let's see how it will looks like so agonist will bind confirmation will happen ions will move inside of the cells that will create the hyperpolarization and the cellular effect will get produced in this way i have simply shown you the animation much and much uh, smaller smaller things we have to manage so that the ions and dead things move slowly inside the cell in this way you can create the animation that are catchier one and that are very easy to understand by the students in this way you can use the animation a number of the animations are uh, uh, present inside the powerpoint but you have to use as per your need some of the shortcuts which are helpful when you are using the powerpoint presentation like to make the screen black you simply press b on the screen like i am hitting the b on the screen the screen is turns toward the black again the bring the screen toward the back again hit the b to make the screen white hit the w the screen is become white again the white if you press the control key and then press the mouse button you can get the pointer onto the slide to right on to the slide you have to hit the control p that the pane will appear that works as a writing pad and you have to write down onto the particular wordings to highlight the text you can have the highlighter you can have the eraser one now control e will give you the eraser and escape will definitely end the slide show so in this way you can create the effective powerpoint presentation by remembering the do's and the don'ts and use the various animation tools inside the powerpoint as well as you can save your video with the help of animations and the narrations which is not possible in office 2007 in office 2010 it is only possible to have the windows media video creation but in office 2013 and more you can have many more option you can create the video from your powerpoint presentation even you can save your narrations and the save as a powerpoint show that will directly open up the powerpoint show let me show you where the options are present if you go into this option here is option slide show you can have the rears timing you can rears yourself moreover i am giving you one trick whatever you want to read or whatever you have added onto the slide just add here as a notes if you are using a office 2019 or 2016 then there is one presenter mode is available this one are you able to see this presenter mode here is use a presenter view when you have the two monitors 
or the LCD projector joined to your laptop, this presenter view will work. Now I have not added the another monitor or the LCD projector. So this will not work on this desktop machine. But once the presenter view is get started, the slide which is viewed toward the audience is a different than the slide which is on your desktop. My another view, you can have the both means the slide which is shown toward the audience and the coming slide, which is next coming slide, which is also visualized to you. You can also visualize the various uh, notes. Notes are also visualized to you. Notes are not visualized to your audience. In this way, you can use a presenter view. Another, there is the one record option. Record from the beginning or record from the current slide. You can start the record from the current slide and it will prop up with the message. Slide and animation timing, narration ink. Start recording, it will start the recording for you. Here is recording is get started. You can see that the for six, seven seconds the recording is get started. And in this way, you can record for each animation. Simply press escape and you can see that one speaker box is here and that indicates the, your slide is recorded. Let's see what is recorded in our slide. See that? Are you able to listen? The previous words. I am doing nothing. It will automatically move. So in this way, you have to record the narrations for each slide. And after recording narration, you have to go into the save as option. And here you can find out there is an option mpeg mp4 video option is there here your powerpoint is get converted into the video and that is with your narrations and with the timings that you have added inside the powerpoint presentation so this will very much helpful to prepare the video as soon as if you found the fault in this video suppose this slide is not recorded or recorded badly you can only change the recording on this slide it is not necessary to change the whole recording you can change the recording from this slide only or you can simply delete this slide have another slide record for it narrate for it and again save the powerpoint as a mp4 video in this way you can able to create the various Another video making software is the Screencast-O-Matic. But remember, while preparing the video, never forget to add the reflection spot. I have told you the four different learning resources. In the Screencast-O-Matic, I am very fastly giving you the demo of the Screencast-O-Matic. Another is the OBS Studio. Why I am giving this? These are freely available software for preparing the videos. Screencast-O-Matic is a very good. creation of videos in the screencast-o-matic you can prepare a learning dialogue where instructor creates a content that content is received by the learner learner has access to it then response toward the reflection spot which is added by the instructor and again after that answer again the learner has the access toward the content in this way uh, you can create the various learning dialogues. Here are the steps to create the learning dialogue. Prepare a visual presentation focuses on the single concept. Create a script for the content to be recorded. Then create activity for the reflection spot. Uh, reflection spot timings should you have to add it and then add a particular slide. Refine the video scripts and rehearse it and record the video by using suitable platform. Here we are using uh, suitable platform as a screencast o -matic. There are the n number of the video creation tools. Some are paid, some are free. Some are only giving you the recording up to some minutes. Some uh, screencast-o-matic will allow you to record for max to max 15 minutes. So here the you have to add the screencast-o-matic in the window, address window bar in the Windows Explorer. This screen will pop up. 
explain you how to hit the start recording for free then this window will appear you have to click on launch free recorder then free recorder will get launched you have to click here to download if you have not downloaded it download it in this way run the record window will get appear this record window will tells you the maximum time if you want to record the whole screen you can record it you can record the both camera as well as the screen you can do it you can adjust your powerpoint content according to the screen where it comes if the screen of the webcam is appears at the bottom you have to manage the content of your powerpoint accordingly so that nothing should be goes at the back of the uh, your screen or your webcam screen then uh, maximum time allowed is a 15 minute you can record the full size or the having different size then check the narrations whether the mic is working or not blue lines which is uh, uh, bubbling that indicates the record is started you can you can have the recording like this this will allow you to start the recording stop the recording these buttons are there then recording will get start as soon as you click on this then recording is get pause you can review the recording by having the various buttons once it is done you have to create on the done save the video save the video as a screencast automatic youtube or the google drive you can edit the recording in the video editor likewise in this way you can save your videos so this is the short and very fast demo of screencast automatic i will share the uh, powerpoint presentation with the dr sekar sir so that this presentation will be available to you and you can learn from this how to create a uh, videos from screencast automatic but for the screencast automatic you have to rehearse yourself for various various things so in this way the learning resources are for accomplishment of the students for enhance for getting them the enhanced learning experiences or the diverse learning experiences choose or create the learning resources as per the need so you have to identify the need of the students evaluate the learning resources whether they are achieving the targets or not then technology use make it easy and use lbds learning by doings or learning dialogues so that the students are more engaged than usual lecture method so think creative and be creative thank you very much if you got any question please feel free to ask if you have any question any doubts feel free to ask you can write in a chat box also yes i think i have uh take the video creation by screen cast automatic very fastly but i will share you the powerpoint presentation so that you can get the ideas your feedback is necessary for me at least put the something inside the chat box so that i can know whether i have bored down you or whether i have a uh, discuss you some of the knowledge that will help you in the future that will help you to transform your teaching learning processes yes please dear colleagues thank you ali sir thank you anita ma'am I think there are no questions from the participants. Sekar sir.
थैंक यू थैंक यू dear participants please unmute your mic if you have any queries i Ask think shiva swami sir wants to ask he has raised the hand shiva swami sir okay then thank you thank you very much i uh, i want to express my gratitude and thanks to dr sekar sir and dr sudagar sir murugappa polytechnic college chennai for inviting me and giving me opportunity to interact with uh, different audience the genius audience who are very interactive in the session they are putting the various messages in the chat box so that they make me a full of the intro throughout the session thank you very much my dear colleagues sir thank you very much sir thank you sir a doubt set from department of mechanical engineering and murugappa patel we express our sincere thanks to dr kulteep sir uh, you are readily accept our invitation without any hesitation for presenting a session and the session was very informative and useful hope the participants will make use of your uh, contents in the presented in the session sir thank you very much sir thank, thank you thank you very much sir thank you